Closer to home, we've seen some showers and expect thunderstorms later today. And add to that, it is muggy. John Elliott has your first alert forecast. Hope everybody had a great weekend. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a busier week. And also, we are dealing with some very heavy rain on the east end. We'll show you that radar again. I mean, big totals, and it's still raining. Number in the city, yeah, it's steamy. 82, wind out of the northeast at 14. A snapshot again. So you've got light showers through parts of the Hudson Valley. More coverage into Connecticut. And hey, heavy rain. Central Suffolk, South Fork, all the way out to Montauk where we've already we've already recorded appreciably over an inch but some of the radar estimates have multiple inches like three four inch totals because it was a slow mover very organized low and with the added heat and humidity have to leave in the possibility of a few more showers models are trying to bring in a stray shower right around lunchtime closer to the city that would be a shower but this afternoon, with the heat and humidity, we're talking about isolated thunderstorms. Lightning, you bet. Thunder, uh-huh. Below severe threshold, likely. We don't see 60-mile-an-hour winds out of this, but it's that brief heavy rain that can really slow you down. Isolated, not a nice light soaking rain that we need for the backyard. Just these showers and thunderstorms that we'll be dodging overnight tonight. Tuesday continues to shape up. Tuesday looks like a quieter day. Tuesday night may be a stray shower, but Tuesday, if you've got stuff that is really weather dependent, Tuesday might be a little bit more amenable. Wednesday morning starts with a passing shower or thunderstorm, and then there'll be more activity in the afternoon. So do you see how overall Wednesday is busier? No day is a washout. No day is wall-to-wall -wall wet. It's just all the ingredients we need. And it just stays humid. Oh, and then it gets more humid. Oh, and then it gets more humid, and we're turning the heat up. So heat index values on Thursday could approach or exceed the triple digit mark. And that's just the beginning. We could see another heat wave Thursday through Sunday. Real feel numbers 95 to 100 plus. So just gear up, pace yourself. Storms isolated in nature, possible each and every day, today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. And then on Thursday, turning the heat up, and that could linger right into the weekend. So I uh, just want to say again, Cindy, I hope everybody had a great <laughs> weekend last weekend. Watch out for those storms this afternoon. John, at least you've warned us. Thank you.